Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Well, kind of have a review and a warning this time. I saw something on Netflix, and when I saw the title, looking at the new movies and stuff like down there, I was kind of excited to see it. It was Benchwarmers 2 Breaking Balls. Now, and it had and started, one of the stars of John Lovitz. I'm a big John Lovitz fan. Now, I remember... Benchwarmers, the original Benchwarmers hit 2006. Wow, that was a long time ago. And uh, at this back when I used to take Taylor and AJ to the movie theater. I think I just took AJ this time. I believe, because it was weird because when I would take them to the Dollar Theater, I felt weird about taking them to see a PG-13 rated movie because they weren't 13 yet. Um, you know, it was just G or PG rated family fair, usually PG rated stuff. Um, and I took a, I think that was the first movie I took, Taylor wasn't with me. I think the first, very first movie I took AJ to see was that. I think I took him to see that in Spiderwick Chronicles, and that was, Spiderwick Chronicles was PG. I took him to see Bench Warmers, it was PG-13, and it was really, really, really funny. I really enjoyed the movie. So I, I had high hopes for Bench Warmers too. The, uh, Ball, Ball breakers or ball busters? What was it? Ball busters or... Wait a second. Breaking balls. Breaking balls. Okay. And um, I started watching the movie and about seven minutes into it, I came to the conclusion, this movie sucks. It sucks bad. It starts out with Chris Klein, who's not a good funny lead. I mean, could we have like goofy characters in a bench when it made it really silly, silly funny. And he wasn't funny. He played like this uh, guy who's going to, in the, the minor leagues, and going to get a major league deal or something like that. And the pitcher throws the ball, and then he hits him in the uh, groin. And usually groin shots can be funny, but, but the way they shot this, it wasn't funny at all. And then they, and then in certain ways, they were played it throughout the movie. And if it wasn't funny the first time, it sure would hell wasn't funny or the three or four other times. Um, Wow. It really sucks. Um, and it talks about him uh, being a lawyer uh, and trying to get a, a firm in this one place. And there's lots of lawyer stuff in him about his divorced wife and kid. Um, you know, stuff with that. And then, like, you know, the one lawyer, he, he said, oh, I got a softball team, too. He hired him to be, a, like, a ringer on the team. And then he, he said, no, nah, I can't do it. I can't play. Then he got fired. And then he teamed up uh, with Smooch and Butt or something like that. Uh, the John Lovitz. That John Lovitz in charge of. And then he became part of their... They call himself the best. And these are like the most boringest characters ever. I mean, not funny at all. I mean, they didn't even try. Uh, John Lovitz said something that made me laugh. And there was a scene where they showed like his thing of goofy clients. And there was like a guy with a ventriloquist dummy, a puppet... That might have been funny. They could play a really stupid humor. They didn't even uh, they didn't even attempt on that. He was on it for a second. Uh, I mean, they didn't even try to be funny. I mean, it was horribly, painfully bad. And most of it revolved around this court case about like this one group um, wanting to build like a sewer uh, sewer line or something like that in this town, and it like you know all these businesses would be shot or something like that. Um, and most of it's around that court case. It just wasn't funny. Them trying to add lawyer. A lot of it was lawyer stuff. Then it was baseball stuff, kind of. But I mean, it didn't matter because the baseball stuff sucked and the lawyer stuff sucked. I mean, this movie's painfully not funny. Um, I will say during the last 20 minutes, it picks up and becomes a little bit interesting. I'm surprised I watched it all the way through. I mean, it was as bad as Joe Dirt 2. Uh, even though I never saw Joe Dirt 1, I probably should. But, I mean, the first bench war was so good and so funny, I thought I would really enjoy this, and it was awful. I mean, it was really awful. Uh, yeah, I, I would avoid this like the plague. I mean, like I said, it picked up during the last 20 minutes. It got a little bit interesting. That's why I'm only giving it a 1 out of 10. I was going to give it a goose egg, a 0 out of 10, but I, I did pick up a little bit during the last 20 minutes. Doesn't mean it's good movie. It just gets, got a little bit interesting because I held out hope.
for something. But I mean, it's not enough to save this movie. I don't even know why they bothered to to, to do it like this. I'm sure. I mean, because John Lovitz was in there. John Lovitz wasn't really given anything funny to do, and I like John Lovitz. I mean, he. I laughed at one thing he said, and it wasn't that funny, but it was funny the way he delivered it. Uh, but I mean, I'm sure John Lovitz on the screen just said, "Boy, this movie sucks." I mean, I couldn't imagine. And Chris Klein was boring. I mean, he's. I mean, he wasn't the final lead for something like that. I mean, they should have went real dumb, 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 dumb humor and been really silly. Instead of just making a movie that really sucked and just wasn't funny. I mean, they could make a dumb humor movie and make it so funny, it's so stupid, it's funny. But they just made a movie that was so stupid, it was su it sucked. I mean, this movie sucks. I mean, I, I, I can't say any more about it except saying it sucks. Um... I laughed. I laughed that. And there was this one girl that was John Love's daughter talking about farting in space. That was a little funny. And one girl um, who walked off the thing after her water broke. That was a little bit funny. And that was it. And that's not enough for a movie. I mean, and, and, and when I said funny, I mean, not huge laugh, but maybe it, it was something. I mean, when you see a comedy that's not funny, a comedy that's painfully not funny, you're kind of starving for any type of laugh. So you might laugh a little bit more at something that might be even a little teeny tiny bit funny. But this movie sucks. So, a 1 out of 10. Well, I said picked up at the very, the very last 20 minutes, but it's not enough to save it. Um, so, I hope you liked this review, everybody. Yeah, I had to avoid uh, uh, Bench Warmers. I almost said Ball Warmers. Bench Warmers 2, Breaking Balls. I wouldn't recommend it at all, but I hope you liked the video of me reviewing it. Uh, so until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion. Now, when are they going to have 47 meters down on caged on Netflix? That's why I want to know. Hopefully they'll have that on there soon. All right, take care, everybody.